If you Google fungus gnats, there are no shortages of sites telling you how to destroy them, how to get rid of them. Rarely will you find a site in support of these gnats. Interesting, isn't it? Which makes me wonder about the way we perceive life forms. A dandelion is bad on your lawn, a rose is good in your garden. Ants are terrible, roaches are disgusting, possums are ugly, foxes are a nuisance. Crows are noisy but eagles are good. Now, think about that for a minute. When people push their belief systems onto you, are they doing it for control? Are they doing it to educate you? Or are they doing it to intimidate you? And what does that say about you who accept these belief systems because it's a lot easier than to think for yourself? How much of what you think you believe are actually your own thoughts? Your political beliefs. Are they your parents' beliefs or are they your beliefs? Your religious beliefs are interesting, but have you ever given much thought to the reasons, the logic, the facts behind your beliefs? How you feel about different nationalities, races and other religions, are they your very own beliefs? Back to these fungus gnats. Why do you suppose you feel the way you do about these insects, hmm? Why? In the next few seconds, take a good look at these gnats and then determine exactly how you feel about these things and more importantly, why?